Hello folks, this is the question of uh, 2002, uh, paper 2 of course, and the question number is not certain, so because I initially during the f f initial days of my career, I when I started my compilation, I put uh, number 1 in it, but uh, I have now lost the original files, that's why I really don't know which number is this. So, the question is that, a student has available some resistors, each of resistance 100 ohm, draw circuit diagrams one in each case to show how a number of these resistors may be connected to produce a combined resistance of 200 ohm so first we have to show a circuit diagram or a combination how we can achieve 200 ohm from 100 ohm so as we know if we if we connect two resistors in series they add up so if i connect these two things 100 ohm and 100 ohm in series it will give me 200 ohm so it's easy now the second is 50 ohm so in order to obtain 50 ohm i have to connect these 200 ohms in parallel 100 ohms in parallel so 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 if i connect these two 100 ohm here and 100 ohm here this will be a simple parallel circuit and it gives us 50 ohm because here r parallel will be equal to r1 into r2 by r1 plus r2 so it will be 100 into 100 divided 100 plus 100 so it will 10,000 by 200 and that becomes it is 50 ohm now in number three we have to obtain 40 ohm so generally it is the case that uh, it's a it's a uh, something to be tested by you as well generally the third one is the third one is the combination of the first and second generally the third one is the combination of the first two now if i connect this 200 in series with 50 ohm it will definitely not give this 40 ohm so what it should we should do is first try this connect these two in parallel so that means connect this 200 ohm in parallel to 50 and it should give 40 so let's see so this 200 is a series of 100 and 100 like this then i have to go for this parallel connection parallel connection like this so this is 100 and 100 is 200 so this is uh, uh, this is sorry i was talking of parallel no 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 I, i'm wrong here so let us do it like this let us connect this thing to the parallel arrangement of these uh, two, two things so this is 100 and again 100 which is 50 so this will give us 40 ohm so this is 200 this is uh, 50 100 is 50 so r parallel is equal to r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 so it is 100 into 50 divided 100 plus 50 so this is 5000 5000 uh, divided by it is 150 and definitely it will give us it will give us uh, it will give us uh, 40 ohm uh, sorry it is 200 actually 200 plus 250 so this is 10000 once again this is 250 it is 40 ohm here 40, 40 ohm here so uh, what now we have to do is uh, in the next phase in the next phase we have uh, such an arrangement here such an arrangement a combination of series and parallel of the resistors so power source here 100 ohm here 25 25 we are given that the power dissipation in the 100 ohm resistor this thing is 0 0.81 so here we have 0 0.81 watt power consumption we have to find the current so the current should be equal to power is equal to i square into this r so current should be i square equal to p by r and i should be equal to p by r then power by 2 so this is equal to 0 0.81 divided r is 100 and then this is power 1 by 2 so it should be it should be it should be it should be so 0.81 uh, divided 100 this much so it's power 1 by 2 is power 0.5 is equal to 0 0.09 so current is equal to 0 0.09 amperes 
0.09 amperes. So here the current is equal to 0.09 amperes. Now <coughs> we have to find the power dissipation in each of the 25 ohm resistors. So what happens is this current will divide into this branch and this branch in the two branches. Now since they have got equal resistances it must divide equally. So that means the current here is half of this it is 0 0.045 ampere and here also it is 0 0.045 ampere. Since they are of equal resistances the current should divide, uh, um, divide equally that's why we have this value. So now the power in each of these things will be equal to so power 1 equal to power 2 is equal to a new current current new square into r uh, new let us say so this is 0 0.045 square into this r new is a 25 so that should be equal to that should be equal to uh, 0 0.045 45 square into 25 is equal to it is it is it is so 0 0.0 50625 watt. So that will come out to be nearly equal to 0 0.051 watt. So in each of them the power will be 0 0.051 watt. So this is the final answer for the power.